some videos. Okay, so sleeping insomnia. In um, people who are like I, I talk to a lot of people who are in active addiction and have trouble sleeping. What does that mean? There are a lot of repressed feelings. Um, they stop using food, alcohol, drugs, whatever, and they have a lot of sleeping problems. You know, I was um, I was a food addict, a hardcore food addict, and I used to use food like a, an a, anaesthetic late at night. I'd have a huge quantity of food so I could get to sleep because my head was going at 100 miles an hour, and I thought, well, I have to go to sleep. So if I eat enough food, then I can just fall asleep, you know, just like a drug. So as soon as you stop the drugs, then you can't sleep. You know, because your head's going 100 miles an hour, and you're not using something to like knock your head out. Mm. So you need to, you know, you need, you need a bottle of vodka. You need like 100 donuts. And if you don't do that, and you stop doing all of that stuff, then your head's going 100 miles an hour, and you can't sleep. So, so how do you get to sleep? Well, uh, I can give you some tips, but they really the real work is doing lots. You know, the work we talk about, feeling the feelings, uh, cancelling. You know doing the Course in Miracles, or if you're doing a 12-step group, going through your inventory and letting go of your... As you're doing your 12-step inventory, especially step four, where you're going through all your fears and resentments and sharing them uh, with your sponsor, it's releasing huge chunks of fear and resentment. And this fear, if you hold a lot of um, repressed fear and resentment in your, in your ego, then it just means that your, your, your thinking's going to go 100 miles an hour. All, all those thoughts going to have a lot of fear-based thoughts, a lot of anger-based thoughts, just, and all that repressed energy is like a, a propeller for your fast thinking. So if you're not going to knock yourself out the, with an addiction, you know, either, um, you know, if, if you're an addict, it's going to be food, drink, alcohol. Uh, if you're more normal, it's going to be like binging on Netflix or something, uh, just to try and like numb out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that might not work, but that might not, not be a good thing. But there is some tips. Apart from doing spiritual work, which is a slow way, because once you've let go of all your oppressed, all your oppressed fear, energy, shame, and guilt, and you've uh, and you've, your consciousness is elevated, you're naturally going to be able to sleep much more easily, because you're in these states of peace and serenity. So you just you know you just plop off to sleep. You know it's hard. You know, for me, when I wasn't living the life I was supposed to live, I had a lot of guilt, and I needed something to knock me out because I wasn't being the person I was meant to be. So, but once you've let go of all of that through spiritual work, it's not, but some tips, like if you're in the early days of spiritual work and you can't sleep, I think some tips are like watching spiritual speakers. Uh, that's, you know, I found people have given me compliments. I get compliments like people watch my videos to go to sleep. You know, I think that's a compliment. Yeah. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> You know, it's like they're, 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 that's like it. That's like oh, good. You know, your ego hates my talk so much it'll even send you to sleep. You know, so that's a that's a compliment to me. You know. So I've had people, but you know, other people have said like we've got someone here who just puts the Course in Miracles. Uh, someone reading when you read out eight hours of the Course in Miracles, see how much your ego wants to stay up. Eckhart Tolle is my favourite go-to. Or Eckhart Tolle. So I'm on it. Spiral. Yeah, spiral. So you'll find that every. And none of the non-dual teacher. Yeah. So non-duality, I think, specifically, I think, especially the. Non-dual, non Yeah. The higher the higher the teacher, the more your ego will send you to sleep. It's a very good tip. So. You got your thing. So there's Eckhart Tolle, there's Rupert Spira, there's uh, you know, of course the miracles. Get you can go on YouTube and probably get eight eight to eight hours eight hour things. Put that on <laughs> and and try and attentively listen to that and see how long your ego lasts. So that's one one tip. I think doing you know you can do doing feeling the feelings will help to de you know decompress a lot of the energy and will help you get to better night sleeps so eventually. Um, yeah, I those did that the other night yeah. when I couldn't sleep. Yeah. Um, I knew there was some worry and thoughts going on there. Yeah. And normally, what I do is I read something boring on my phone. I know they there was they, they recommend not to go on the phone, etc. But I find that when I just re start reading some text, I soon go drop off to sleep again. Yeah. Um, on something meaningless. Um, yeah. But what I found is I've started to feel my feelings whilst I was lying down in bed and couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. So I moved away from thought and it was easy because obviously you're in that state already where you feel yeah. in bed and relaxed. Yeah. And suddenly before I know I woke up in the morning and I was like, that worked! Yeah. I went to sleep! Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, the, the other thing I would say as well for more advanced uh, seekers is that sometimes when you go through a lot of spiritual growth, you can have a phase of difficulty in sleeping. So sometimes, because when you have a, a huge jump in your spiritual awareness, you start the Kundalini rises, and so you can have a lot of extra energy for a while. Mm -hmm. So that can also be a thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but that's a temporary phase. But yeah, spiritual speakers, feel the feelings, or whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, um, and uh, so those would be the spiritual mechanisms as opposed to drugs, alcohol, food, and Netflix, you know, which are the traditional uses for getting to sleep, which are the more addictive mm -hmm. ones, uh, which I don't recommend.